Hello everyone, and welcome to the next Quantpedia Explains video series. We will speak about the commodity and fixed income phases analysis reports that help our clients analyze how their model portfolio is sensitive to inflation and monetary policy. Successful investment in financial markets depends on many factors. However, one of the most important is to know the connection between markets, monetary policy, and inflation. Thanks to our commodity and fixed income market phases reports, our clients can estimate the sensitivity of their portfolios to these two factors. The commodity market phases report does not directly measure inflation, but the commodity price movements are highly dependent on it. So, when commodities fall, inflation fall, and conversely, if commodities rise, inflation rise. However, the fixed income market phases report works on an analogous principle, only with bonds and rates. The relationship between interest rates and bonds prices is reversed. When interest rates rise, bonds prices fall, and if interest rates fall, bonds prices rise. Market phases analysis report was an inspiration for these reports. Therefore, reports analyze the model portfolio's performance during commodity and fixed income bull markets, bear markets, and two intermediary periods, corrections and recoveries. The commodity phases analysis report shows, past portfolio performance before each inflation phase, and future portfolio performance in or after each inflation phase. Also shows the portfolio's correlation to equities in or after each inflation phase. We use the DBC ETF as a proxy for the broad commodity market. Afterward, the report offers the possibility to investigate the past 12 months and future average performances 3, 6, and 12 months of benchmark ETF and model portfolio in each market phase. Our clients can review the performance table and equity curves of four different trading strategies that would hold a model portfolio only during individual inflation, commodity market phases. It helps them better assess the model portfolio's sensitivity to inflation, commodities behavior. Fixed Income Phases Analysis Report uses IEF ETF, iShares 7-10 Year Treasury Bond ETF, a proxy for the US government bonds. Again. Quantpedia clients can investigate the past 12 months and future average performances 3, 6, and 12 months of benchmark ETF and model portfolio in each fixed income market phase. Additionally, users can also review the performance table and equity curves of four different trading strategies that would hold a model portfolio only during individual fixed income market phases. This helps to estimate their model portfolio's sensitivity to interest rate behavior. So if your portfolio includes commodities or bonds and you want to discover the market phase they are in or the sensitivity of your portfolio to inflation and interest rates, then commodity and fixed income market phases is a clear choice for you. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more, or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.